Hello, this is Arthur Nix, and I'm an HCSS Heavy Bid Contract Trainer. And today I'm going to talk about an excellent resource inside Heavy Bid, which is the tutorial. Now, the tutorial is a great resource for someone who wants to walk through Heavy Bid start to finish. There's a lot of information there that kind of gives the architecture of Heavy Bid. Um, it's a great studied resource. And uh, what I did is I actually printed out the tutorial screens and I'll have them as a PDF for download. But it's best to just have it on another screen as you walk through Heavy Bid. So let's take a look at this tutorial. Now, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and open up Heavy Bid because you're going to have to be inside of it eventually to create this tutorial estimate that you'll walk through. So when you open up Heavy Bid, you get this screen right here. You can get into any estimate right now. You can go open existing estimate. Just click on any estimate that you see. I'm going to click on the one of these default estimates that comes with heavy bid. Now, if these are the only estimates that you see here, then of course there's nothing else that that has been done inside heavy bid. Uh, and these are the these are the four sample estimates, and there's also two master estimates: a demo mass and an S mass. Now, to get to the tutorial, you'll go over here to help. And then right here under the tutorial. Now, the getting started guide is good too, but I'd rather you start with the tutorial. I click on that and the tutorial comes up. Now, this is online and of course each screen will probably open up a different tab on your browser. Now, at the bottom here of the screen is the HSS tech support number. And as you go through the tutorial, feel free to call that number and explain to them that you're going through the tutorial. And, and this is a great way to, to get help as you're, as you're walking through it. Uh, it's much better to you know, have the question ready and uh, know what you're asking about. So that's what uh, I like about this tutorial. So first of all, you get an overview of what the tutorial will do. It'll take you from starting, uh, creating a new estimate, all the way to creating a bid summary and bid pricing. And I just go here to proceed to heavy bid tutorial fundamentals, which will take me to the next screen. And this is kind of where it goes over the background or the setup information, the architecture of heavy bid. So this is worth studying. You're not going to really do anything here other than read and understand what you're looking at. Now, this uh, tutorial is several years old. Uh, some of the icons don't are not quite updated. Uh, they're not updated. As you can see here, I had the heads, and now we no longer have the, the hard hat uh, guy anymore. Uh, but it's still applicable, still current, so uh, don't feel like this is out of date. As I go through this, it talks about, you know, some of the information, some of the setup, right-click menus, heavy bid toolbar, uh, tree views, and how uh, levels work, um, grid views, and what you can do with that, pop-up windows, saving records. These are key to operating inside heavy bid. Uh, don't, you know, worry too much about the keyboard shortcuts. That's really more for advanced uh, Resource codes and structure, you need to under that, understand that. Uh, organizing resource codes, uh, very important. Uh, but remember, the tutorial is going to walk you through that. It's just good to go ahead and, and understand this. Uh, talking about local versus system-wide data, probably one of the most confusing things about heavy bid, but it doesn't need to be. Um, code books, you're not going to worry about code books right now. Um, and then you have the labor equipment and crew setup, and then other system data setups. And it talks about the uh, concept of master estimates. And really all a master estimate is, is another estimate. Um, and then down at the bottom, you go into, okay, what do you need to do to start this tutorial? And... Um, one thing that you need to make sure is that the demo mask does exist. If it doesn't, it tells you how to do it. And feel free to call tech support and say, hey, my demo mask is missing. What do I do? So don't get stuck and, uh, you know, just call tech support. They're waiting to help you. So what's the next thing that I do? 
Well, I come here and I proceed to the heavy bid tutorial estimate setup. And now you're actually going to go and create an estimate. Now, there's two places that maybe it's a little confusion about estimate code. Uh, you know, just put some kind of value in there. Uh, call it test, test two if there's already one that exists. Uh, estimate name, you know, call it, uh, um, you know, any name that you want to call it. Here you're going to select demo mast. You know, don't bypass this screen because if you copy from S mast, you're just going to get a blank estimate. You want to use the demo mast estimate. And then it talks about inside this new estimate that you created. Uh, you know, you're going to set up some labor. You're going to set up, uh, uh, you know, the rest of these labor codes. You're going to set up calendars and overtime. Um, so that you get kind of a feel for that. You're going to set up, you know, kind of basic equipment costs, not too detailed, but just something so that you can do this estimate. Um, you're going to set up some crews also. And then towards the bottom, you're going to start setting up the actual bid items. Then you're going to proceed to estimate entry and follow the instructions there for actually entering costs into the estimate. Um, you know, adding the activities, adding the resources. There's also videos along the way as you're doing this that you could play these videos. And you'll probably hear my voice on some of these videos. Uh, down here towards the bottom, you keep going. It talks about copying from other, uh, the same estimate or other estimates. And then you get on to the estimate review where you, where you will do reports and queries, uh, view some other videos, uh, and then down here you go on to the bid summary. And you can, you know, it talks about opening the bid summary window, what it does, um, talks about the standard markups. There's another video for spread instructions and then the bond calculations and add-ons. Um, now, a lot of this stuff is optional, but it's a good idea to understand it. Uh, you might not use it for your own day-to-day uh, -day bidding, but it is good to see what the options are. And then the, I think the final video is the bid pricing. And you can see we actually go into pricing up the, the bid that you, uh, you came up with. Um, talks about... Uh, uh, changing the bid price, freezing an item. I mean, a lot of this stuff, yes, it's optional. Um, you know, if it's too confusing, don't worry about it. Really, the big thing is you want to just be able to type in a price, a unit price for that item. And then it talks about at the bottom, uh, you know, printing the reports. And this is pretty much, uh, you know, the end of the tutorial. Uh, I suggest that, you know, you do this even several times, uh, study it. And I, I expect, oh, if I had to go through this and I was a new user, I would spend uh, at least four hours on this. Maybe, you know, it might take you all day, but it's worthwhile to do it. A lot of good information, uh, especially on the front end. And at all times, you know, feel free to call tech support, explain to them what they're doing. And uh, they can, you know, log in at any time and, and see what you're seeing and then answer your question. All right. Again, my name is Arthur Nix. Uh, my company is EWKS. That stands for Estimating Workflow Solutions. And I specialize in setting up companies to maximize the efficiency of heavy bid. I also train new users, existing users. I look at the workflow of a company and say, okay, how can we do this better? How can we do this faster and more efficient with greater accuracy? So uh, check out my blog, check out my website. I hope this uh, video was helpful and um, feel free to contact me if you have any questions.